Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm here with a C Sharp tutorial to you get that A in your coursework, and today we're here with writing to a CSV file. So, you might be thinking, Max, what the hell, this is not Java. You're correct. C Sharp was made by Microsoft to compete with Java, and they are somewhat similar to each other while still having their differences. For instance, you can pass by value and pass by reference in C Sharp, unlike Java, and that's just one example of a difference. So I'm making C Sharp tutorials because there's a market for it. Yes, Java is still more popular and still more widely used, however, there's still a big market for C Sharp. And there are many people who actually like doing it for A level, probably because they want to use Unity, or maybe they just fancy a different language, or maybe they want some of the features you can get in C Sharp that you can't get in Java. Whatever the reason is, I'm here to supply that potential demand. Don't worry, Java tutorials won't go, they're going to still be here, but let's get right into this tutorial. So, we're going to be right into a CSV file. A CSV file is a file where all elements or fields are separated by commas, like in this file. As you can see, it's made up of three fields. So we got 127, Josh, and 17. We have an ID, name, and an age. You can obviously have any record field structure you want. This is just going to be the example for this tutorial. If you have not watched my Java one, I advise you do because I explained the theory a lot there. But basically, we want to add another record to a file. Each line is going to be one record. So let's get right, in it right into how we do that. So let's get right into how we do that. So, I have created a boilerplate of a method, it's a public static void, it goes inside our class, underneath the main method, or anywhere you want, it, it doesn't really matter, as long as it's in the class program. So we have public static void, basically it's a public static method, and it won't return a value, it's called add record, and we're going to have four parameters it takes in, string id, string name, and string age, those are going to be the fields that make up a record that you wish to add. You can have as many fields as you want. So don't say, oh, I'm only limited to three. You can adjust this code to have as many fields as you want for your database. The last string is the file path. This is going to be the text file where we store all the data. So what do we do inside of here? Well, we want to do a try catch. So I'll do try catch. And inside the catch, we're going to do an exception EX. So we're creating an exception data type, and it's going to be called EX, because EX is short for exception. And what we're going to do is we're going to just throw a little error. This program did an oopsie, and in the console, it will print an error that occurred, so we can debug easier. Inside the try, we're going to simply do a little bit of file writing. So. So what does this code actually do? So first we're going to put use in, then we're going to put two brackets. Inside we're going to do system.io.streamwriter. Then we're going to put the name of an object. This object can be called file, but we're essentially creating an object to write to the file. Think of it as someone who's adding another number to the yellow pages book. After we put the name of the object, we put equals new. Then we do system.io.streamwriter. This is just a constructor method to create a new instance of a class, the streamwriter class, and we're creating the object and we're going to call it file or whatever you want in this case. Inside the brackets for this streamwriter, we need to put two things. Firstly, we need to put the file path. In this case, it's just going to be file path because that's the variable to store the file path. And then we put an at before the file path. So we put at, then the name of our file path, which could just be a variable. The second parameter is a boolean, it's true or false. False means we're going to overwrite the whole file and just replace everything in the file with what we have here. And true would mean, okay, just add what, we're put, what we want to put in at the end of the file and don't overwrite the file. We want to do the latter because we kind of don't want to overwrite every other record in a file if we just want to add another record. So, inside there we put file the name of our object, dot write line, id, plus comma, plus name, plus comma, plus age. So what's going on here? Basically, you will need to basically write every parameter you decide to pass in, and in between each one, you have to put a plus and a comma. Why? Because it's a comma separated value file, CSV. You can have any delimiter you want, but this is what we're going to be using for the time being. So, let's run the code. We're going to be adding 
So we're calling the methods here. We're going to be passing in 124 as the ID, Mercy as the name, and 56. And we're going to put it in a file called cake.txt. So let's go back to the file. This is cake.txt. We don't. These are our records. As you can see, the Mercy record isn't there. So we're going to close the file and we're going to click start. The program opened and closed with no errors, implying that it was able to write this record to the file. So to locate your text file, by default they get stored in your bin debug folder in your C-sharp project file. I have no idea why. Someone tell me in the comments if they actually know, because I'm curious and too lazy to Google. I'm gonna double click, and as you can see at the very end we added a record called Mercy. So we're actually gonna add one more. We're gonna run the program again. The same thing happened. Let's try it again. And as you can see, add the same record again. So guys, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more C Sharp or Java tutorials. I will be producing both. Don't worry, I'm not going to be slacking on either one. Uh, be sure to leave a request in the comments if you got a request. And thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.